Are you a fan of classic TV shows that combine action-packed adventures with a healthy dose of Southern charm? If so, The Dukes of Hazard, a beloved TV series that graced our screens in 1979, might be a familiar name. This iconic show follows the escapades of the Duke family, cousins Bo and Luke, as they race around the fictional Hazard County, Georgia, in their signature orange Dodge Charger, the General Lee. But before we dive into the details, let me ask you this. What classic Hollywood actor in this TV series was your favorite? And do you have a cherished memory associated with this series? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's roll out some interesting facts about the Dukes of Hazard. This action comedy series not only featured daring car chases and stunts, but also introduced us to unforgettable characters like Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane, Boss Hogg, and the vivacious Daisy Duke. With its catchy theme song and that unmistakable rebel flag on the General Lee, the show captured the hearts of viewers across the nation. So, whether you're reminiscing about the Duke boy's adventures, Bo, and Luke's charisma, or the charming, troublemaking town of Hazard, this classic series remains etched in the memories of many. Share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series, and let's celebrate the nostalgia together. The Dukes of Hazard, a popular TV series from 1979 featured some interesting behind-the-scenes facts. One noteworthy incident occurred during the CMT Inside the Duke special. Catherine Bach, who played Daisy Duke, offered to leave the show alongside Tom Wapat and John Schneider. However, they convinced her to stay, along with Uncle Jesse, as they believed that without her, there would be no show to return to. This incident highlights the significance of her role in the series. Another intriguing detail involves Sorrel Book who portrayed the character boss Jefferson Davis Hogg. To appear chubbier for his role, Book wore padding under his suit. This commitment to his character's appearance added to the authenticity of the show. Additionally, a remarkable stunt took place during one of the series' famous jump sequences. This jump, which occurred on November 11, 1978, set a world record. The stunt involved a 16 feet high and 82 feet long jump, and it's believed that stunt driver Craig R. Baxley was responsible for this historic feat. These facts provide a glimpse into the interesting stories and moments that took place behind the scenes of the Dukes of Hazard, contributing to the show's enduring popularity. The General Lee's iconic jump in the Dukes of Hazard is a legendary moment in television history. On November 11, 1978, the General Lee Dodge Charger soared through the air, reaching a height of 16 feet and covering a remarkable distance of 82 feet. This astonishing feat became a part of pop culture history. Stunt driver Bob Orison is believed to be the one behind the wheel during this incredible jump. It's worth noting that this jump happened while the series was still in the process of being developed, even before it replaced Captain America. The daring stunt and the General Lee's signature orange Dodge Charger are enduring symbols of the show's high-flying action and excitement. This heart-pounding jump left a lasting mark on the series and contributed to its enduring popularity. The Dukes of Hazard remains a beloved classic in the world of television, and moments like this are a big reason why fans continue to revisit the adventures of the Duke boys and their iconic car. According to the unofficial guide to the Dukes of Hazard, Jai Waldron aimed to set Hazard in a location like Chatsworth, Georgia. Chatsworth, in northwest Georgia's Murray County, has a strong bootlegging history. This choice of setting added a unique flavor to the series, reflecting the area's history of moonshining. While not explicitly mentioned in the show, this real-life inspiration gives a nod to the region's past. It's just one of the many subtle details that contributed to the show's charm and enduring popularity. Denver Pyle and Sorrel Book, who portrayed Uncle Jesse and Boss Hogg, respectively, hold the distinction of being the only actors to appear in all 146 episodes of the series. Their consistent presence played a crucial role in shaping the show's character dynamics and ensured a sense of continuity throughout its run. The chemistry between the cast members, including these two veteran actors, is one of the reasons The Dukes of Hazard remains a beloved classic in the world of television. These behind-the-scenes insights shed light on the thought and effort that went into creating the 1979 TV series The Dukes of Hazard. It's clear that the show's creators and cast were dedicated to making a memorable piece of entertainment, and their commitment continues to be appreciated by fans to this day. 
Five of the lead actors in the 1979 TV series The Dukes of Hazard also took turns behind the camera, directing a total of 25 episodes. Denver Pyle, best known for his role as Uncle Jesse, showcased his versatility by directing 12 episodes, proving that he had a knack for storytelling both in front of and behind the camera. Tom Wapat, who played Luke Duke, wasn't just a charismatic leading man. He also left his mark as a director with five episodes under his belt. Soriel Book, who portrayed the iconic boss Hogg, added his unique perspective to four episodes as a director, which added depth to the show's characters and narratives. James Best, known for his role as Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane, demonstrated his creative talents by directing three episodes, providing a different insight into the show's law enforcement characters. John Schneider, who played Bo Duke, directed one episode, proving that he too had a creative vision to contribute to the series. This diversity of talent within the cast, both in front of and behind the camera, undoubtedly played a significant role in the show's success, contributing to its enduring popularity among fans. Stay tuned for more insights into this iconic series. One interesting fact about the 1979 TV series The Dukes of Hazard is that much of the character Roscoe's personality traits, like the cuckoo and his middle initial P, were created and improvised by James Best, who played Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane. In addition to this, the character Roscoe's dog, Flash, was also introduced based on a suggestion by James Best. These unique character quirks and additions by the actor added depth and humor to the show, contributing to its enduring popularity among fans. This behind-the-scenes insight into the creation of Sheriff Roscoe's character showcases the creativity and improvisation that played a role in shaping the series. It's clear that the show's creators and cast were dedicated to making a memorable piece of entertainment, and their commitment continues to be appreciated by fans to this day. Bo and Luke Duke, the iconic cousins in the 1979 TV series The Dukes of Hazard, were known for their action-packed adventures and their signature car, the General Lee. But there's an interesting fact about how their characters sometimes had to use a bow, an arrow instead of guns. This change was due to the Duke boys being on probation for moonshine running. Using firearms would have violated their probation, so they turned to archery as an alternative. This added a unique twist to their law-breaking escapades and showcased their resourcefulness in navigating the challenges of Hazard County. It's one of the lesser-known details that contributed to the show's distinct flavor and enduring popularity. As we draw the curtain on our journey through the iconic 1979 TV series, The Dukes of Hazard, it's a moment to pause and reflect on the indelible mark this show has left on the hearts of its viewers. Whether you were a devoted fan or just stumbled upon it, there's something about the adventures of the Duke cousins and the General Lee that transcends time and generations. The Dukes of Hazard was more than just a television show. It was a symbol of the simple, carefree spirit of a bygone era. The dusty roads, high-speed chases, and the ever-present twang of the iconic horn echoed the essence of Hazard County and its beloved residents. It's a show that made us laugh, root for the good guys, and, in its own way, taught us important values of family, friendship, and justice. Now, it's your turn to share your thoughts and cherished memories of this classic series. Did you love the daring escapades of Bo and Luke Duke? Or perhaps, you were enchanted by the mischievous charm of Daisy Duke? Maybe it's the unforgettable antics of Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane that still bring a smile to your face. So, let's open the floor to you, dear reader or viewer. Share your favorite episodes, characters, or any personal anecdotes related to the Dukes of Hazard. Let's celebrate the joy it brought into our lives, the bonds it helped create, and the timeless entertainment it continues to provide. Thank you for taking this trip down memory lane with us and for sharing your thoughts. Your connection to this legendary show makes it even more special. Until next time, keep those engines revving, and remember, you're part of a community that cherishes the enduring legacy of the Dukes of Hazard.